Hi everybody, it's Mother Flint and Feathers again today, and I'm tying a very simple fly for you. Um, a needlefish imitation, very effective, uh, popular in New Zealand for kingfish and the like. Um, also, well worth tying if you've got somewhere with, with a barracuda or if you're fishing for GTs. So, I'm going to start my hook and device. This is a Gamma Katsu SL12 A aught. A big, nice big hook. You can tie them smaller, 6 aught, 4 aught, depending on your target species. These ones will be getting thrown, hopefully, at some GTs. So, the thread I'm using is 210 UTC. So it run on a thread base until I just come to the end of the shank. Don't go around, don't go around the bend when you tie these. So to stop it fouling, I'm going to take some nylon. This is uh, just hard nylon. Any old stuff will do. I'll put a tie in on the sides of the shank. It was a reasonably, reasonably big loop. Um, Get that locked in nice and secure. And then you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it's tw slightly twisted. So just to prop it up, we'll take a turn behind or two. Get we pull and a twist, tighten up. And that leaves your loop nice and flat. At this stage, I always like to just come in and put some super glue down. Just for a bit of durability. It stops that that will never pull. And it wouldn't pull it anyway. But you. I'll tie it down over the top of that. So, the material I'm using for this uh, is this flash blend from uh, Silver Scales, right? Um, uh, Chris at Silver Scales has sent me some of this stuff as a sample just to try, and it's, I like it. Um, it's very similar to Steve for our flash blend. There's that kind of what, kinky fibre type material um, with the sort of angel hair flash blended in. So, let's take a bunch. You don't need to go crazy. You know, it can be fairly, fairly thin. Just got to double it. Taper the ends. Tie it in at the just roughly the midpoint. I mean you can set the you can set the size. I'm making this. This will be the overall fly will be about eight inches. I just fold it. on top and if you think they're a wee bit long which, which we, you can just shorten it but always make sure you've got a nice taper 
and I'm going to take just the same material and like a pale blue Uh, this stuff is it's slightly less there's slightly less flash in this I would say than there is in uh, Farrar blend, which can be good, you know. Um, it just depends depends on your fishery really how much flash you want, but it's really nice stuff. Slightly softer. But very nice to work when really moves well in the water. So I've just laying that on top. My tying point slightly further forward, but same thing. Two or three wraps. Fold it back. Tie over the top. And don't let it don't let it spread around. You want to keep it on top of itself. You'll start to build up a slightly higher vertical profile at first, and then that develops into the sort of round body that matches needlefish quite well. I mean, garfish also have a similar shape as uh, trumpet fish too. There's loads of. There are lots of sort of prey species that have a similar sort of profile to this, so it's you know you can use it. You can use this pattern um, in other locations as well, whether even if there aren't needlefish, I mean, ballyhoo, that kind of thing, all have this sort of long body. Just taking this. This is a blended colour. Um, so it's the same blue with a, a few pieces of fluorescent chartreuse and some uh, green in there as well. So tie that. Same again, exactly. The same. Catch it in. A couple of turns, nice and tight. Fold everything back. And tie over it. That's basically when your all your materials are now tied in. Have a wee look. I'll just Oops. I know. Just run my thread up and down a couple of times to smooth this out a wee bit. Touch and turns. finish. Just a couple's fine, you're going to coat all of this with resin. So the first thing I'll come in with my red marker. And then 
Look at this sort of turquoise colour. Marker that I'll just run across the top and the sides. We'll leave the I don't bother doing the underside, I just let the ink sort of bleed round, it gives you quite a nice effect. And then eyes. I mean whatever eyes you like. I'm going for slightly exaggerated eyes on these um 14 mil. And they're just the just the three D mirage eyes. And they're not a brand, I just buy them from like uh, I buy them direct from China. You buy super glue. Make sure they're nicely lined up. Right, and then just to finish it off, I take some UV resin. First thing is to they will be to fill the gap in the eyes and sort of set the at this stage you can sort of set the attitude of the material And then we'll just come in Quote a lot of it Between the eyes on the underside Get all that filled What would they just turn it? It will start to you'll start to get a shape forming. You see what you think of it. I think you've got a wee bit much at one area. Don't 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 set it with big lumps on it. Just um, just take your needle and spread it a bit a wee bit. It's better to take your time and do a couple of coats, a couple of layers and gradually build it up than to try to just put one great big glob on. Um, it's much easier to control if you just uh, if you're just putting thin layers on rather than one big runny mass. So I'm going to, now I filled the eye space and I'm actually going over the eyes as well. I 
That means they're never going to fall off. Well, short of short of the the entire fly getting mashed, but um. And I'm just rotating it, letting it find a level. Once I've got a nice smooth finish, I'll hit it with a light, I'll keep turning. And I'll let it stop moving. That gives you a lovely smooth finish. You know, you don't have any big lumpy bits on one side or... You don't get any sagging. And that's it. Simple needlefish imitation. Obviously, um, I mean, that, it's quite quick to tie. Probably, if you're tying a batch, you know, I, I'd, rec I'd suggest tying all the, the hair in and then just doing the he eyes and heads in one go. You know, we probably end up about six minutes a fly. So, um, I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, if it was, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and remember to subscribe to my channel for more HD fly tying videos. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.